Until now, Ukraine's story has been mostly about challenges, those facing communities in curbing corruption, in sustaining its territorial integrity and peace within its borders, those relating to the economy and those relating to the environment which sustains life. However, challenges can also be opportunities to build new institutions and to restore trust in the government and to change and to transform in order to live open, corruption-free and sustainable lives. There's already an enormous groundswell of activity and civic engagement underway and, despite some setbacks, the reforms undertaken by the new government have been unprecedented, gradually transforming the nation and building a new Ukraine. Restoring Donbass and helping internally displaced people In addition to the loss of lives, the conflict in eastern Ukraine has resulted in massive internal displacement, draining money and resources from local economies and causing extensive damage to economic and social infrastructure, with thousands of hospitals, schools, kindergartens, factories, roads and bridges damaged or destroyed. When the explosions were, of course, here was a soft blood pressure, everything was broken. There was no water, there was no water. There were generators. 69 people were operated only for two hours. These are peaceful citizens. In close cooperation with the United Nations and partners, United Nations Development Program is now leading international efforts to recover from the consequences of the conflict in eastern Ukraine through restoring social services and infrastructure, promoting economic recovery and jobs, and helping local governments to deliver services for people. My name is Irina, I came from Slugansk district. As soon as we started these first shots, I decided not to risk it and we went and went. There is a lot of work, there are many conditions, there are wonderful conditions. Я отбывал наказание на несовершеннолетней колонии. И в тот момент, когда началась война в Луганской области, потом я начал искать сам работу. Мне ну, не находил, никто не хотел брать, потому что судимый был. Пришел, сначала была практика, меня научили работать на новом оборудовании, потом поставили за станки уже, ну, в принципе, уже работаю, уже делаю свои заказы, и все у меня хорошо получается. Ну, когда начались первые выстрелы, первые... Солдаты приехали и все такое прочее. Это, а, вот. И я за сколько, дня за два, наверное, собирала. 8 июля я уже была здесь. Теперь меня забирают в офис. Я у них бухгалтер и кассир. Намного интереснее как-то стало, потому что это такая архитектурная доступность. На улицу каждый день и поедешь, посторонняя помощь нужна. Хочется уже домой, но побоимся, потому что еще не все совсем спокойно making Ukraine green and clean. Ukraine remains one of the least energy-efficient countries in the world, with one of the highest greenhouse gas emission intensities in the region and ranking 24th amongst the world's greenhouse emitters. UNDP is helping Ukraine to become a green and clean and energy-efficient country, moving forward on its sustainable development path and advancing climate change mitigation from policy to practical level. Over 1,000 children from the small town of Uman in Cherkasy region of Ukraine will stay warm this fall and winter, thanks to bioenergy. Three straw-fired biomass boilers have been installed in the local kindergarten, allowing schools to save on heating bills annually. The boilers are a vivid example of a sustainable development win for the community and the planet. They run on eco-friendly fuel, releasing no CO2 emissions into the atmosphere and decreasing greenhouse gases using locally grown biomass waste from wheat straw, pressed into pallets and saving money. The electricity production sector is among the top polluters, emitting around 86.8 .8 million tons of CO2 annually. Just replacing old-style light bulbs with energy-efficient ones can save an average Ukrainian school up to 2,000 kilowatts of electricity annually, equal to 4,000 US dollars. Working closely with the Ministry of Environment, we're helping Ukraine to leave behind the inefficient energy gobbling technologies of the past and make a quantum leap forward towards energy efficient lighting. UNDP aims to help Ukraine to shift policy, develop national lighting standards and increase demand for high quality energy efficient products. Through large scale information campaigns and pilot projects in schools and public buildings, Ukrainian communities learn that using new technologies can help save on energy bills. Several pilot initiatives have successfully transformed into a commitment to environmentally conscious disposal of mercury-containing bulbs by several large retail chains. Better lives through democratic governance and reforms. 
Following the massive protests in the late 2013, early 2014, Ukraine's newly elected government has embarked on an ambitious program of governance reform, aiming at more transparent, more effective and responsive government. For instance, UNDP assists Ukraine's anti-corruption and transparency agenda through supporting the National Agency for Prevention of Corruption, promoting prevention through conflict of interest rules and assets declaration, and building the capacity of civil society to address local corruption. UNDP is also promoting public administrative reform and international standards of public service, effective delivery of administrative services, facilitating open budgets, and implementing open data in Ukraine. Now, Ukrainian civil society activists have tools to effectively fight corruption. A free, user-friendly, online open budget tool presents local budgets through a variety of graphic data visualizations. Відкритий бюджет показує, що ми все-таки рухаємося в правильному напрямку, в напрямку до, до відкритості, до відкритості влади, до того, що кожен платник податків все-таки має зрозуміти і побачити, де ті гривні, де всі ті кошти, які з нього відраховуються, куди вони потрапляють і на що вони витрачаються. UNDP has also helped the Ukrainian Human Rights Ombudsman to build a regional level network. Local human rights experts became the eyes and ears of the ombudsman on the ground to make sure that human rights are protected. Я чекав на паспорт півтора року, бо юридичний центр не допомагав вот этим ділям. У мене було три суда. Достатньо є таких людей, що не мають паспорт, не мають робочі місто, тому бо не можуть стати на роботу, не знають, як стати на роботу, бо у них немає документів. Ну, паспорт который я долго ждал, полтора года чекал, а сейчас я маю паспорт, вот, можете это все видеть. Ukraine's story is not only about challenges, it's also about hope and becoming stronger, smarter, greener and more prosperous. And UNDP is right there, on the ground, to help, support, advise and walk with Ukraine through the challenging times.